Hello and welcome to Google Workspace Admin. On behalf of EdTrekkers, I'd like to welcome you. And in this tutorial, we will show you um, how to modify your Google Classroom settings in the admin panel to allow access to and from other domains. This may be something that you need or want to do or have been wondering about, and we're here to show you. So without further ado, let's first go to a Google Classroom and we'll talk about like what that scenario looks like and why you might need that. So here um, in this Google Classroom, when you go to people, you generally um, would invite your students and your students are generally in your domain, but there may be instances where you want to invite um, people outside your domain. So the first scenario is I'm teaching this workshop. The teacher has given me their school address and I want to invite the teacher. So I click on to invite the teacher as a student in my Google Classroom and I put in their address this, and then I invite them. But I get this error message that I can invite them. And the reason for that is um, is that in their admin pa panel, it's set up so that they can only join classes in SAU88.net. And so how can I change that um, so that, that I could add that person? Well, the admin at SAU88.net would have to make that change. And I'm gonna show you how that's done. So Classroom is limited to anyone only within your school domain, in your Google admin domain, but you can modify the settings to invite uh, specific schools outside your domain or, or specific domains, or just open it up to anyone. And this is how. Log into your admin panel. And once you're logged in, you're going to want to go to apps, Google Workspace, and hop into Classroom. So you select Classroom. And when the Classroom screen loads, you'll scroll down to Class Settings. And we're going to take a look at Class Membership. And just click on the Edit tool. And you'll see that by default, it, you're, you're tightly secure. Users in your domain only can share. If you want anybody to be able to join a class in your domain, you would select any user. And if you want um, classes, if you want your users to be able to join classes, you want to just set it up to, so for any, any G Suite class, OK? So which classes can users in your domain join? Can they join only classes in your domain? Can they join classes in whitelisted domain or any, any G Suite class? So these are the settings that you have options for. The other question I get asked often is um, if it's set to whitelisted, if I, I don't want it to be wide open, but I, I have like five different domains, you know, my teachers are going to be training with this other domain or, or I have specific domains, you can choose whitelisted and have that as an option. Once, uh, I'm going to leave this set here. I'm going to click on save. All right. Now, if I'm working with another domain, even though I'm wide open, and if they're locked down so that only their teachers can um, access my domain, I'm going to go and add them, ooh, add them to my admin panel. So in the event that um, another domain is going to allow their users to join your domain. You're going to have to put their domain in here too, so that it's reciprocal. Okay, so you can see I've got a list of domains here to make sure that they're able to get into my domain, and then it's basically a reciprocal uh, handshake. So I hope that helped. And if you have any questions, uh, feel free to email us at info at ed trekkers.com. And I appreciate you watching and uh, we'll be back next week with some more um, Google Workspace admin tips for you. Have a great day, everyone.